Welcome to the Salt Circle Podcast. My name is Hank. With me is a man who wished to be taller. Ben. It's, it's Dragon Ball time, bitch. It's Dragon Ball time. I... Uh, it's finally the next episode of Dragon Ball. I'm stoked. Fucking ready. I've been so this episodes 29 through 78. This is the most I've ever wanted to fucking record a podcast. <laughs> like I finished and I was like, I want to like, I wanted to record, like walk from the TV to the computer and just be like, Hank, we have to do it now. Cause I got to keep going. Like, it needs would, to fucking happen. I think I would have been ready when you finished. Probably. <laughs> I think I was there. Look, the <laughs> fact that the fact that we even are getting to do it today, like, uh-huh. at least it's there's true. some... Yeah, it did take the, a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have just gone uh, on. I would have started... Well, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd be able to hold back. Yeah. Yeah, so we're covering the the Red Ribbon Army saga up th- all the way up through the Fortune Teller Baba arc, which is sort of it's not like the the Red Ribbon saga plot ends and then the Fortune Teller Baba arc is kind of the end of the Dragon Ball chase and like the cathartic end of this chapter of the story or whatever. Yeah. Uh Man, where should we start? I guess we should start uh, we can, at the beginning. Well, that, or we can start by you actively lying to me on air when I asked if uh, Go On appears. A little punk. I did. What, what punk. did you mean, did I lie? You what said I you said you learned more about him. It was a lie. Yeah, I didn't want to spoil. It was a lie by, by a mission, you I would yes. elf. Lord of the Rings elf just not telling the whole truth or whatever. I asked for No, that I was part. just being vague. You do learn more about him. Oh he my also God. shows up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I that was lit that That's was yeah, not, that was me trying not to spoil. I I didn't want I that reveal to be spoiled. Ask for the spoiler. <laughs> nope. I vague as vague as I could be. <laughs> Um, Whatever it makes that him moment hit I, harder. I, 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 okay, you're right, but I'm still <laughs> salty about it. <laughs> I'm not actually salty. It was good. Um, that you moment said, was so hype. I you, watched so much Z, and I had no, I, I never met Gohan. <laughs> I didn't even know if he was going to show up. Um, we uh, before I don't know if it was even in the last episode or if it was just like what we were talking in between or whatever but you said mm-hmm. like yeah the red ribbon army saga is like the bit where he fights like you know the, the army yeah and like for a a long time for a long long while through these episodes like you know he's facing the different commanders and leaders and like going through punching some henchmen whatever and then he actually just fights the whole fucking army like at once <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> i'm like damn Hank <laughs> wasn't kidding God, that bit was so good. And then everybody afterwards is like, "We gotta help him. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta get there fast. He needs our help." It's so good. He's like, "No, I beat him, but you beat, you beat them all." They're smiling about it. <laughs> They're just so fucking yeah. pissed. Oh God, Poor has was... to go verify his. And it's like, "Yep, that place is empty." <laughs> there was so much good shit. Like this is this is this is Goku being the most overpowered. He's it's just great, dude. <laughs> the the power buildup was so like spot on. Yes, because we get that first. Uh, what the hell is his name? Like Commander Silver. Silver Captain is the first Silver. one. Yeah, yeah. And he just like fucking. We don't even like see him again. Like Goku just fucking palms him to the chest and. <laughs> Like, the dude is he's, out. He, he just dies. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, and then, like, I I really enjoyed, especially, like, near the uh, Fortune Teller Baba stuff. Um, we got a lot of Goku, like, 
having actual fights, right? Like he doesn't yes. just annihilate everyone. He's 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 bouncing off a lot of people. And then mm. there there was like just enough of him like rolling in after other people are struggling and he just like has a laugh while easily destroying people and it it's mm-hmm. it's so good. It balances. <laughs> Goku rolling in after other people is struggling. Will be is will be the driving force of much of Dragon Ball. I'm fucking here for it, dude. <laughs> like, how could anyone possibly beat him? <laughs> He's not. How does he do it? One punch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, I love it. I loved the. Uh, I I just I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm just. It's something with like some modern anime or something or just like tropes or whatever i keep expecting to get like blue bulb for half of this shit like Mm -hmm. they mentioned the sacred water at the top of corin tower right yeah but i'm like there's no fucking way that like we actually get a full bit of that right like something's gonna happen it's gonna be some bullshit but no, he he climbs the he entire just... tower. He gets up there. He gets to drink the water. I don't even care that it's tap water. I just want him to see him <laughs> take a swig. That's all I cared about. And he did it. And then he comes back down after tripling his power. And he uh, wreaks havoc. Yeah. In the it... manga, it takes, like, not that many pages. Let me see. How many pages is he climbing the tower? One, two, three, four... Five, five pages of the manga takes to climb Gorin Tower. I mean, he's not climbing it that long in the... <laughs> it's like an episode, <laughs> but yeah. I guess. There's like a whole it's episode top, where he's yeah. just climbing, but that's it. It's not like th- five episodes or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just funny because like, you know, compared to watching original Z... That ex- <laughs> you know, Z it was a thing where you're like blue balled all the time. You're like, come on, yeah. let the thing happen. And then coming to, particularly like you know, the Snake Way stuff and the Namek Saga. Fucking Snake um, Way, dude. Yeah. Uh, so watching Dragon Ball, we're like, wait, stuff just happens like constantly. We're just constantly doing stuff. This is the <laughs> best. Holy shit. That is what that was my like biggest takeaway of watching Ritual Dragon Ball. It's like the pacing is just so fucking good. Like stuff yeah. is always happening. Um like we're in I, Muscle Tower for a while, but that's all fucking good shit. You you reminded me what my I think my peak is may uh it, it's pretty close, but po- potential peak um when Goku is up there, like, trying to get the water and it's storming, and we get fucking Master Roshi out on the <laughs> out on the beach, and it's, like, storming. He's like, nah, I'm going to chill out here for a bit. And then he buffs up, and he fucking parts the water. I was losing my goddamn <laughs> mind. I was, like, freaking out on the couch. That was cool as shit. I really wish that dude were less horny. <laughs> He will not be less horny. Yeah. But God, it was so good. Oh. Yeah. I was hyped. I mean, my peak is fucking the Pow, Tao Pai Pai stuff, rather. The mercenary the, Tao. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the mercenary, yeah. That's yeah. great shit as well. Assassin Tao Pai Pai. <laughs> throws, he breaks that pillar and throws it and rides it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like just chilling when he's like fighting Goku and like laughs him with his hair. That shit's rules. That's real good. I couldn't believe they had the balls to fucking kill what's his name when he, he kills. Albeit, albeit blue Semper. with his tongue. Oh, not that. The uh, yeah, 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 Bora, Bora. Right, right, right. Um, I didn't. I was like completely unexpecting. Mm-hmm. Like it took me totally by surprise. I was like, "Holy fuck!" I mean, yeah. Even yeah, even you know the though it's temporary and shit, but like still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then poor feels... little, poor little. What's the tiny kid's name? 
Um, Ura? Upa. Ura. Upa. 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 Ura is a or an Upa. adorable Ura is a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Upa is an adorable little Dragon Ball child. Oh, Native American, even though there's not an America in Dragon Ball World, despite Murasaki's yeah. flag. Yeah, that... <laughs> It's like not the fucking. It's not the worst interpretation, I guess. But like that. Also, there are only two of them in Dragon Ball for whatever reason. Only two, and immediately <laughs> in with that like, kind of noble savage stuff. But whatever. Yeah. Look, the important thing is that mm. later Upa defeats Dracula with the power of Jesus Christ. That was pretty good. Uh, he t poses. <laughs> uh-huh. And it tilts fucking Dracula so bad that he, he has to bail. <laughs> Literally puts the words <laughs> Jesus Christ on the screen. It's so good. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's uh in the yeah, in the dub they like changed that vampire's what they, what do they make his name? Spike. No, no, no. Um Devil and then it's I thought it was Spike. Spike is the Devil Man, right, 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 right. Who and in like in the manga, he's just Devil Man. This is that character's actual name. Uh, and then it's they're just like if you listen to the Japanese audio, they're literally called that vampire Dracula. They just say Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's straight out of the he's Dracula like, book. Yeah, a <laughs> vampire with shorts and boxing gloves. That's you know? it's right there, man. In between the five blood transfusions. Dracula's just like, pa, 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 pa. And then he it bites Krillin on the head. It's so much that shit's it's great. The bleeding sprouts. So it looks like he has hair. It looks like you have some hair. It's just like shitty little <laughs> blood strands. <laughs> and what happens? Like, he gets mad. I forget what he gets mad about, but it like, it's jetting out of his head. They're like, you gotta cool down. <laughs> You're bleeding but out. Yeah, yeah, he's like he's like trying to focus and meditate, and then Goku says he has hair, and he gets all bad. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it just explodes. Oh, that's pretty good, dude. The fucking just the dumbest way to bring Master Roshi in for the Invisible Man fight. Krillin's actively bleeding out of his head, but he's like, I got an idea. <laughs> Go get Roshi and, and Bulma. Uh, Krillin is a menace. His plan is unbelievable. To win this fight with Yamcha versus an invisible dude, we have to go all the way back, get Roshi and Bulma, and then I'm going to pull off Bulma's shirt so Master Roshi nose bleeds all over the fucking field and reveals this invisible dude covered in Roshi's blood. Unfucking believable. It's he even wild, either in the manga, because the manga, they're. Like, there's no cut cutbacks to Roshi and Bulma until Goku's, like, flying back with them in his hands. See, I... <laughs> like, I literally, liked, we haven't seen those characters. I liked uh, how, Go- like, Goku just, like, straight up kidnaps them. Yep. <laughs> he just <laughs> rolls in and fucking... He breaks their shit. <laughs> he literally breaks in to fucking take them out of mid-flight. <laughs> it's like, Yo, we need you. I don't know why. <laughs> that's the other thing Goku's doing that he has no idea what he's that's doing that's called fucking Krillin did not explain that's called loyalty dude that's yeah, called Krillin that's called your friend tells you that an Atlas game is on sale and you just fucking hit buy <laughs> you trust that person with your wallet if you told me just not even what it was about but you're like Ben download this thing I'm like okay I don't know what like, consume this thing in the within the next three days, like all right, you know, you uh-huh. just got to blind trust. Mm-hmm. I speaking of like blind trust and good things, uh, I like the repeated bits of like Goku having a pure mind. Yes, God, it's so good. The the Devil Man's evil beam hitting him. <laughs> He's just that. Can you do it with something other than pink? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he's like an infant or a baby or like an animal. <laughs> what the hell? Well, then his uh, his little interaction with Corrin where he's like trying to explain, Corrin's like, shut up. And he's just standing there. He's <laughs> like, ah, yeah, pure mind. Like looking through glass. 
<laughs> that chord bit is great. It's real good. He's like, you read my mind? Wasn't much to read. <laughs> Well, and then I like the I like the playoff. Of, uh, uh, Bulma says to Yamcha, "Like, would you be would you be fine in that beam?" He's like, "Uh, <laughs> fucking none of them would be." <laughs> so maybe Upa. Upa Upa would probably be. I mean, you can yeah. you can ride the cloud. You can ride Nimbus. Yeah. yeah. I love when it, that Upa pulls out his axe. It's ready to just fucking... <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Upa throwing an axe is fucking top tier shit. It's real good. Upa, like, all the little bits of him, like, running, even though it's kind of emotional and he's crying, but, like... Yeah. He's such a pudgy little runner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little running and crying. It, it is unbelievable that, like, you know, 50 episodes in or whatever, yes. like, Dragon Ball is like... What if we got emotional, though? Just a little emotional. <laughs> you know? We, we, I mean, we've I'm committed down. enough. We've earned it. We've earned the right to have some feels. Yeah, man. That's what I appreciate. We don't... They don't They do not do it till you're, like, really... You really invest. You know what it... That, like, Goku does not get mad like this. <laughs> Dude, watching Goku get a little bit irritated and then, like, go off, pretty mm. good. Mm. Pretty yes. good. Yeah. Um, There was one part, one part of this uh, entire section that we watched that I was a little hesitant on. Mm. And I actually very quickly brought myself around because it felt familiar. And that would be uh, Penguin Village. Uh huh. Because I was like, I'm not. Just like three episodes. Yeah, I was like, I'm not really into this very much. Like this person, mm -hmm. like just this small, overpowered child who's like also not normal and like the psychic, tech wizard baby and stuff. Uh -huh. And then, a little bit after uh, watching the last episode in that in that bit um i was thinking i was like why do i why, like this feeling feels familiar where have i felt this and then i realized oh it's just fucking um tom bombadil but oh, that's all <laughs> this is this is Basically, tom bombadil of, of dragon ball and that's just how i'm like this is that's it uh, we're fine i'm good uh -huh. i enjoy not it even. wrong <laughs> so <laughs> that was that was like a nice connection that i made uh, this the weird like superhero Superman dude was uh that that got me though that was pretty good. <laughs> he just like he broke like, these, like one his... thing when he he like smashing the concrete things he breaks like one of them. <laughs> Which show how strong he is. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> and then immediately guys like are you looking for a sidekick? <laughs> 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 just completely bails gag manga characters and then he's just like fucking yeah run away <laughs> <laughs> unreal it was like it was a, it was okay though I, I definitely yeah. in the in in like retrospect a little bit more uh and the best thing to come out of it is that picture you showed with the swapped outfits for goku yeah and... that's just in the that's that was a drawing in my volume of the manga like right what's the that part what's the girl's name uh a raleigh a raleigh yeah good shit yeah there's a the only other uh dr slump crossover there's an ep one episode in super that's amazing <laughs> honestly hell yeah <laughs> Because they just, you know, scale up Arale's power for how strong those characters are in Super. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. That's amazing. Like, She's going to destroy the planet. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's so good. So this one, this one is much honestly less silly than that. <laughs> that, but uh, 
and I don't have any attachment to the Doctor Slump characters, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The biggest, <laughs> Arale is in, in Dragon Ball Tenkaichi Budokai 3. They put in, that's like one of the few Dragon Ball Z games that's like, has such a huge roster that it has a bunch of OG Dragon Ball characters in it too. And Arale's See, in it. I was looking at, I was looking at uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, and I did check like the the character roster, and it's like, yeah, I mean, like once I do up Z, I'll probably feel better about it. But like, I some some yeah. OG stuff would be, cool. I want like more, you know, more of like a Smash Bros thing, like just throw in everybody. That's the Dragon Ball Tenkai J Budokai Three. That's like just toy box. Does it, Here's all the characters. Does it have, like, Bulma? Bulma isn't playable. Wow! Not all the characters false advertising. All the characters who fight. She, I like... I guess... Yeah. They would have to put her in a mech. Oh, yeah. Or give her a bunch <laughs> like of that. I think stuff. that... I think that robot... I know the peel off robot is in a bunch of video games. I don't know if it's ever playable though. <laughs> the one they use against Goku at the end here. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that shit was great too. <laughs> I love how this 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 robot. so like uh, I I think a good argument for why this a bunch of episodes is a set is how it opens with the peel off gang getting like completely outclassed by Silver, and then it ends with them also like Goku having to beat them is the final thing the, the way they bookend these episodes is, is pretty cool oh yeah their fucking like Death Star ship <laughs> beginning is so dude, fucking amazing dude it's great and even the military is like what the fuck <laughs> you know there's like a regular army with army planes they're like what the fuck is that <laughs> God. <laughs> There's like three people inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like so much. And it's just... Pilo keeps opening the window and like <laughs> flinging himself out to space. <laughs> uh, I really like the. I guess maybe not initially, but like General Blue grew on me. Mm hmm. That was good shit. I loved how he was like, I don't know. It was fun watching him be like grossed out by shit. Like the mouse. And then like Bulma tries to seduce him. And he's like, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Finally. <laughs> uh huh. I was disappointed. I, I, there's nothing better to me though than blue getting after all that you go through with blue. And then he just gets the fucking tongue to the temple and dies. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, the catharsis of... Oh, shit. I don't even know the dude's name. Guy who puts a bullet into uh, into uh, Commander Red. Uh, Staff Officer Black. That's... An unfortunate <laughs> thing. <laughs> yep, the black guy's his code name is Black. That's that's just rough. his name. Um, I mean that was. But it doesn't have hair. Though. Most of them are named after their hair. Mm. I guess not blue, but or silver, but some of them like violet or whatever and red. Dude, absolutely disappointed we didn't get more violet. She was cool as hell. I think she, I think she's anime only. Hosky is also anime only. I mean, her I heard at least the, the English voice I did, like I liked her voice and like just brief bits that we got like it was cool shit. Yeah, just running off like I'm more about the money than the Red Army. <laughs> That's pretty. It's, <laughs> it's pretty good. great. She just gets away with all the Red Room. Yeah, she literally. Money. She, she just, just leaves. Takes everything. She's, you know, she's a filler character. She's gone. <laughs> she's free. And I did like it serves like no purpose, but I did enjoy the bit of her and like 
the gang flying and be like, they're reading my every move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what yes. is this and they're both just like they want to fucking ignore each other anyway yeah yeah it's pretty great they, like literally run into each other <laughs> um yeah but i do i really love that the climax of the red ribbon arc is red revealing that he didn't want to use the dragon balls to wish to rule the world he just wanted to wish to be taller and then Black is like, you motherfucker, and shoots Son him of a bitch. dead between the eyes. Just and point he's blank. Just dead. God. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, the fuck, it's so fucking stupid. His delivery, too. Like, when he's telling about his, his wish, and I'm like, is he saying what the fuck I think he's saying? <laughs> <laughs> to tower over everyone. I'm like, this <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> Man, I was gonna, you know what? I was gonna grab a, I was gonna grab a screenshot. I forget what exact instance it was, but there was a bit with, uh, with uh, Commander Red, and Black. I <laughs> fucking hate saying it. Um, I know. Um, there was like a bit. I was gonna screenshot it and send it to you and be like, "It's Ben and Hank." <laughs> something about me <laughs> like he's just giant uh, <laughs> and i like the, the, the it like slow plays that reveal like we don't get it at first when we're seeing red yeah yeah and like there's like i told you never to stand next to me yeah he's like he's <laughs> just getting more and more i think at first he's, you don't even he's having that dude paint him like he's tall yeah yeah it's really short a genius a master of your craft. <laughs> <laughs> and at first, like, when we when we meet him, even I think, I mean, obviously there's those bits we get where it's just, like, his hands and him, like, smoking a cigar and we don't actually see him. But mm -hmm. even after we initially see him, I don't think it, it even slow reveals, like, how short he is. And then you see that it ramps up the yeah. him being pissed about he has it, like a yeah. normal sized head and shoulders it's just he has like no legs yeah he has like feet <laughs> below his torso <laughs> but yeah that was that was that was great uh muscle tower is the first thing right with the ninja yeah with murasaki that one pissed me off that was like <laughs> In, it kind of infuriate like it was it was like the maximum threshold bef without me getting like truly annoyed while watching it the but Marusaki was, fight in particular the like three episodes of not fight yeah that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. quit playing games that's all <laughs> you've been fucking doing my dude uh huh ugh yeah because so that that's, good. like, the first time where we're, like, stuck in a fight that you know doesn't matter that's multiple episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's just, it would be different if it was, like, actually a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, the, the you know, Jackie Chun Goku fight is multiple episodes. That's a fight. <laughs> well, yeah. But even this if it was, like, like... This is Murasaki, like, nonsense. Even if episodes. it was... And even, Goku's like... I go, I, can we fight now or whatever? Yeah, yeah. And I was That's like, like yeah. yeah. Even if it was like, I place yeah. hide and seek. Yeah, man. Like a, I don't mind a filler fight that takes a while as long as it's a fight. Even if it's not oh, important yeah. and all that shit. But like, well, that's yeah. not filler. It's all in the manga. <laughs> well, filler is in. <laughs> it's just like useless. paced badly. Yeah, in yeah. Terms of like the amount of. It episode time it kept going it, i thought i i thought for sure i'm like there's no way and nope ninjas just and now there are five Mursakis. god <laughs> it's his ultimate technique having four twin brothers <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> uh so i bad. think I'm pretty sure Murasaki coming back at the end is filler stuff. Like, with that Murasaki is then, we're still not fucking done with him. I don't think There's... that's the manga. 
Yeah. Yeah, Goku uh, just leaves <laughs> before that happens. We don't even meet that, like, doctor in the manga. Why can I not remember who Hauski is? She's the blonde Red Ribbon Soldier agent who comes to take the Dragon Balls from Goku. Right. She's like a ma- she's like a thief. Yeah. So she dresses up like, as like a fortune teller. Right, 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 right. And right. like And she has those two like lackeys or whatever. Yeah. Right. And that's like Oh right, he goes to the fucking city. That was good shit too. Yeah. As a small town country boy like myself, I was like, Yeah, <laughs> fuck this city. <laughs> He's just going around asking people, you know where Bulma lives? They're like, who the fuck is Bulma? Meanwhile, it's a, like she lives in the same town as you. How can you not know her? I do is fucking true. <laughs> I could probably roll up to someone like a rando in my hometown and be like, do you know where John is? Like, where his house is. And based on context, there's, like, a 50% chance that they'd be able to direct me to the right John. Because, like, they'd be, In like, Goku's defense, he is, like, showing up to town and a- asking, like, you know, where, like, Kim Kardashian is or something. Like, <laughs> like Palma is the, doc- the daughter of the guy who invented capsules. Like, she's... You're probably... Su- she's, like, the richest family in the world. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I I really like by the way, I like that um not only like she's she's, you know, rich and from that family and shit, but also like she's inventing all of this shit too. Yeah. Like, she's so she has like access to the capsules, but like she's also on her you know, doing shit on her own merit, which is great. Like yeah, she's a super genius. For and I kind of noticed that, like, for how sort of gross, like, Krillin and Master Roshi and some other shit is, like, mm-hmm. it does, the, the show does treat it, the, the female characters pretty well. Like, they're they're doing shit. They're not reduced too much, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say Toriyama it was capable of creating good female characters and then kind of doesn't, like, doesn't do enough with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's them down. Uh, Bat gets a bad habit of having them uh, have a baby and then becoming pointless <laughs> to the story. Yeah. <laughs> that happens to multiple characters. Not Bulma, though. I mean, it's better than like... Bulma's like the one. Uh, I guess... It could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. Could be worse. Uh, I like I like Good the stuff that's going on with launch. Mm-hmm. Like her taking a lot, like her. I like that. Like blonde launch becomes more like it's like oh this character is actually way more interesting. So she's just gonna like be the one that's around when actual stuff is happening. Yeah, yeah. And she's like become <laughs> a little bit more tolerable to everybody and shit. Yeah, and then just like I don't know. I I. <laughs> I love the duality. The fact that we get, like, a bit of both is probably... I think if it was only, like, one or the other all the time, it might get a little sure. stale. But uh-huh. I love her being like, oh, hi, guys. I, you know, I'll make food, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, 40 seconds later, it's like, I say we go in blasting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. I got all the firepower we need right here. <laughs> So that fucking Uzi. Yeah, yeah, just fucking every time. <laughs> oh no. Like literally willing to shoot children in the face. I mean Luckily there are children that can handle bullets. It might be uh we don't know, like maybe it's uh airsoft gun. Kids can Not withstand the... a, an airsoft attack. Uh-huh. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> The the the, uh-huh. the the anecdote here is that my mother has shot two of her three children like point blank with <laughs> airsoft guns. Great. 
Mine was because I asked because I was smarting off and like it wouldn't hurt that bad. And she missed the point that I wanted her to hit, so it hurt real bad. <laughs> and with my brother, um, uh, I wasn't an airsoft. Sorry, I was a paintball gun. He got a paintball gun uh, for Christmas, and we want uh, to go outside and test it naturally. And my mom wanted to take a shot. And she's like, I want to shoot you. My brother's like, what? Wait, what? No, no. <laughs> and she's like, no, come on. It won't be that bad. He's like, it'll hurt at point blank. And she's like, well, start running. And he's like, what? And she's like, come on, go. And she like literally kicked him off the porch. She's like, oh my God. And he just like started running and she shot him in the ass from like, I don't know, 20, or, 20 or 30 yards. It was great. God, it c- probably could have gone a, a bit worse, but it all worked out. It's a fun <laughs> story now. Good times. So yeah, a little airsoft doozy, you know. Meh. Or in Goku's case, like also real bullets constantly. Yeah. I mean that's how we're introduced to Goku. Bulma shooting him in the fucking head. <laughs> 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 Lifelong friendship. <laughs> Man, I for some reason that that reminded me like them meeting and like thinking about his his tail and shit uh near the end when Pilaf is like we just got it we know his weakness we just got to get his tail they're like wait where the fuck is his tail (laughs) they're trying to grab it it popped off yeah i mean that's what happened like he was getting he was getting put through the yeah when fucking fucking gohan like just back smacks him bam, on the bam, he's bam. just like whipping it back and forth he doesn't stop he goes for like so long <laughs> i know that's why it breaks off <laughs> that was their their fight was good shit and like the build yes. up to the the dual kamehameha kamehameha waves yeah like the back to back oh yeah gohan's when it like shoots into the water that's yeah also a long trend of people Goku's fighting using Kamehameha's. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a good move. I mean, yeah. Um, Do they... I go, the, my favorite part of Yamcha's fight is the... It's the intro to when he's going to fight the mummy. And the mummy goes, pain and suffering are all you have to look forward to now. And Yamcha's... <laughs> come back whatever anyone ever tell you your mummy dresses you funny and his teeth twinkle (laughs) shit (laughs) fucking rules (laughs) god yeah that was was about to get destroyed yeah he's just about to get (laughs) rocked Uh, that was I was real happy when you asked where I was and I was just exactly paused on that line where he's like <laughs> holding his nose he's like this literally is a demon's toilet yeah there's a fucking giant paper t- giant toilet paper roll on the side <laughs> <laughs> so dumb I love that Baba's minions are all like universal monsters like you got it's the like, invisible man the Dracula fucking... the mummy yeah, who's like a Frankenstein monster? Clear rip but off. We already, of, but we already had had Ader, so you can't do that. Clear rip off of uh, Hotel Transylvania for sure. Clear rip off, mm-hmm. clearly. Uh huh. God, I love Ader. Do which Earlier fucking one is he again? He's Android Eight in Muscle Power. Oh, right, right, right. Frankenstein boy. He's scared. Dude, that was great. I I like that shit. That made me mm-hmm. happy. Yeah. You mean Goku are pals? Yeah, man. They get to take a, a sleep that night. Ader gets to sleep in a bed for the first time, and he's so happy. He had the Dragon Ball the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just... You know... Bud red frankenstein was like that's bullshit he deserved better i'm gonna give him better <laughs> true it's like he's a robot yeah you're better than most people i've met <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like what are you talking about 
people are terrible. You're great. It's fine. You're you're better. <laughs> you're a good person. <laughs> yeah. Um, when he just like docks down Muscle Tower at the end by punching a just, circle around just, the outer wall, dude. <laughs> that was great. I was about to say the the tower takedown was uh was pretty good. Um. Yeah, I think the part with like white at the end is a little drawn out with him holding people hostage, but yeah. Yep. Then he gets his big gun. He shoots Goku in the back of the head. And then Goku's just like, ow! It <laughs> hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he also sh- and he shoots Ader, and Ader just fucking takes it. Yeah. Uh, no, that, I mean, like, fucking... once it once we got that, I, I didn't like, find that yeah. fight too drawn out because we're just coming off of the ninja bullshit, and I'm like, this sure. is so much better. <laughs> yeah, but fine. nobody got the power pull up their butt. That is true. That's right. That was a <laughs> fucking thing, wasn't it? Norisaki's coming down, and Goku's just like, Powerful. Just put this here. <laughs> he doesn't even make it extend. He just, like, puts it there. <laughs> doesn't like, he? Uh, doesn't Goku also, like, nail him with a shuriken? Yes. Or just <laughs> just embeds it. Just, like, he completely in the middle of his face. And yeah. His, like, yeah. He's, like, looking down, and then it's just his eyeball. He's, like pupils look up to it yeah <laughs> it's pretty good uh and it's like Mur- Mur- he's like set up as like such a serious character in the like when they're watching goku fight the uh terminator robot yeah, yeah no i thought it was gonna be like an actual fucking thing and then just... <laughs> and then he's a fucking clown it turns out <laughs> Fucking Goku finds his porn stash. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> and he like looks in the fucking outhouse toilet thing. And he's like, I hope he's not in there. <laughs> yeah. See, I was it's expecting fucking amazing hiding spot. He's just got like a little bamboo tube. Yes, yeah, sitting is underwater. Loud, it's like, loud what is the room? end game here? <laughs> Even if he doesn't find you, like, fucking, he could just leave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have worked, too, if he wasn't, like... <sighs> yeah, he's a heavy breather. He's trying to get that, suck that oxygen down, dude. That tube is tiny. <laughs> get a bigger tube. Not a lot of throughput. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I love Goku's winter outfit. When mm. Snow gives him the her clothes, so his oh like, yeah, the yeah, hat yeah, and the, and the coat and gloves because it's too fucking cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, and then later he's like, "It's too warm," and he's just throwing it all off. And I'm like, "That uh-huh. is my entire fucking life right now. You're freezing <laughs> your ass off, and then you <laughs> step indoors, and you're immediately like, I'm gonna die.'" Uh huh. Yeah. I I identified heavily with that bit. <laughs> he beats that monster by breaking a hole in the wall, and then he has to jump yeah. into Ader's shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little frozen boy. Yeah. Shit's pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah, in the mon- in the manga when he goes to find Bulma to repair the radar, they like Yamcha, U- Oolong, and Poir are like just don't even they're not even in the story. <laughs> gotcha. That part doesn't happen. He just finds Bulma and they leave. Um I really speaking of uh Bulma and those guys, the uh the pirate cave thing, that was pretty cool. Dude, that pirate uh, robot. That robot was like fucking him up. That robot rules. I forgot how fucking good that fight is. 
The fight's good. The design is cool. It has like the alien yeah. head. Yeah, it's, it's real good. Xenomorph. Yeah. You can tell like <laughs> you can tell a movie story I would be watching. Like if yeah. he's a Terminator, he's an alien. <laughs> No, oh, that shit was great. And then it was like... And it's like, it's an ancient pirate robot. Just yeah. Like the... <laughs> I was kind of wondering, not... The whole lore thing of, like, this fucking underwater pirate cave where they all fucking died. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Fucking pirate lords. I wasn't... I wasn't, like, focusing on it. It's a little bit... Maybe suspension of disbelief and all, uh, combined with being easily explained, but I was like, "Does the does the dragon like pick like cool spots for the balls to go?" Cause, like, <laughs> yeah, like, scattered up, like <laughs> scattered across the world to end up in an ancient dead pirate <laughs> skull uh, past a treasure hoard. Uh -huh. like, but it, you yeah, know, man. fucking whatever. It was cool. <laughs> Yeah, man. Must have been fucking in there because Goku was having a heck of a time, like wrenching it out of those bones. <laughs> that it is hilarious because <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> they saw how the Dragon Balls work, but uh, it's again, yeah, it's cool. So I mean, yeah, ru rule of cool, dude. I loved, I loved at the end when Goku's like, now which one is the four star ball? And he just fucking hops up and catches it. Oh my God. It's, it's so good. It's like the fucking, it's like that video clip uh, of the whatever baseball teams and the guy fucking hits it and the pitcher just point blank catches the ball immediately. <laughs> and the dude is like, for real? <laughs> and they're just like laughing, like exact same vibe. Just fucking great. It's like, we're not doing this again. Don't worry. I just love it. Like, the, this fucking eternal ancient dragon is going to scatter the balls across the earth. And Goku's just like, yep. <laughs> it's just a little rock. A little I mean, stone. Well, again, ignoring the implications that, like, in theory, apparently you could just get all the balls. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or whatever. That's yeah, why Goku's a good person. He just wants his grandpa's. Yeah, man. His goals are simple. Yeah. And so is he. Um, <laughs> uh, in the pirate part, I really love when, like, it's like they're, he's with Bowman Krill, and he's like, oh, man, this is the Reverend Army is after us. <laughs> and, they're, and they're like, the fucking what is after us? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> a fucking you army? You didn't tell He's me after the you. Army after you. You never asked. <laughs> you never asked. I, I I mentioned it to you like after seeing it, but I love that delivery because it's it's such a common line, right? Like, why don't you do the Well, you never asked. Yeah. But it's great because it's Goku, and it's like pure innocence. It's not just like being a smart asshole. I yeah. love it. Why would Goku tell them? Yeah. If they asked he would tell them. He's still like barely getting a grasp on whether or not what like what gender people are. It's true. <laughs> At least he stopped like checking. <laughs> so. It's true. He stopped the pat pat. <laughs> God. I mean, and he knew Upa was a boy, and Krillin didn't. That bit, I that got a chuckle out of me. <laughs> Krillin's all like, "Well, well, well." What do you mean, Upa's Who's a boy? High? Well, she's certainly cute. <laughs> what? Upa's a boy? <laughs> uh, it was a joke. Uh huh. <laughs> Fucking Krillin. Krillin, I like, I love Krillin, dude. Yeah, he such gets his little... ass kicked in this set. Of oh, he gets but... fucking rinsed, but like, <laughs> he's such a little Charlie Brown boy. Yeah. Also, he's so God. fucking confident. And <laughs> Dude, he's like super. <laughs> fucking... When he should be confident, he's not. 
when he should be worried, he's the super overconfident. He's like always just at the wrong frequency for his situation. He like looks at how well Goku does with shit, and he's like, "Well, we both trained under Master Roshi." <laughs> <laughs> like just fucking bopped. It's like, yeah, Goku also climbed Corrin's tower. He did it fucking then. twice. The second time, he doesn't even climb it. He just fucking accelerates up it. <laughs> What yeah, the man. fuck? That's how climbing yeah. a tower works. You just get stronger. <laughs> I love the like corn when corn gives Tao Pai Pai the fucking black cloud of <laughs> I assume you can only ride if you're like pure evil or whatever. Yeah. Because he doesn't want him to get stronger by climbing down. Pretty good. Because that's how like strength works. It. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> A fucking how do you get so jacked oh, i lifted weights like once yesterday <laughs> <laughs> goku increased his power by training for three days i mean see with goku it works as an excuse uh-huh yeah with a yeah he a did the person. training that master roshi took like three years to do so i mean he also immediately did the fucking kamehameha wave it's true oh let me try boom Destroys that fucking truck or whatever. Uh, God, it's great. What a good time! What like I'm, I'm having time. such a fucking good time with this show, and I never, I never would have guessed. Like, yeah, because I didn't. Honestly, I've probably gone back and forth over the years about actually. I knew there was an original Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. um, And I knew there was, like, Kid Goku who had a tail. I... I guess, like, maybe I thought that was only, like, part of it. Or there was, like, flashbacks. Or, like, suddenly he gets age up or whatever. In In my kid mind, I think I remember him suddenly, like... The fact that he becomes older is a thing. But I thought, like, it was within Dragon Ball Z... And it was, like, not a time skip, but, like, something happens. And he's, like, mm. aged up. Um, it's the reverse of that in GT. Mm. He becomes a kid again. Great. <laughs> At the start of that show. <laughs> so, I I guess, like, part of me thought original Dragon Ball was just going to be, like, Z, but old. Or what I mm-hmm. thought Z was, but old. So, just, like, sure. only fighting anime, but just kind of, like, shitty action. Mm-hmm. I don't know, so, but oh, this is it, it's fucking bumping, dude. Like I'm completely yeah. absorbed. Yeah, watch and also like watching Dragon Ball. Like you see them, you see Toriyama like eventually settling onto formula stuff that then becomes the formula for Z, which is like the formula by which all shonen anime exists now. <laughs> yeah, like everything is just being Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Like, even, like, the bit of stuff that I've seen, I'm like, yeah, that, this makes sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, kind of seeing where stuff took inspiration or shit like that. Yeah. But, but like, the, and the other part about it for me that makes Dragon Ball so good is, like, Toriyama's, like, coming up with all this shit, but he's also, like, gonna take the piss out of it. Like, <laughs> like, every, like, at the end of your, your big plot, it's gonna be a fucking joke a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like there's like a punchline at the end, which is the part that like I feel like most other show to anime does not get to. They're just all about you know the the cool edginess of it, which you know Dragon Ball Z certainly gets to. But all, but at its core, what I love about Dragon Ball is the ability to do both. Yeah. Um, and just like when. You just take the piss out of it. It's like, I love it. <laughs> there, there are Dragon Ball Z fans that don't like that shit. Uh, and it could not be me. <laughs> well, see, like... I I know we've maybe talked a little bit about it before. I forget your exact thoughts, if I'm being honest, uh, regarding One Punch Man. Because, uh, mm-hmm. you know, at, at the point when I watched that, however many fucking years ago now... Um, 
you know, not a lot of, I had the desire, even a little unknowns to me at the time, in my heart to, to watch like an overpowered person do shit and just kind of yeah. be like, just wading through everybody else they encounter. Um, but like, even that, it, it feels like there's things, and that's kind of what I like about, about that show as well, like the sure the, there's like the the stuff the plot stuff it gets a little serious blah 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 but then there's like jokes and shit and it's mm-hmm. it strikes a good balance different different take of course but yeah I, the jokes are great dude the the tone is like perfect yeah i watched the uh, my only real exposure was i read watched the first episode and didn't find it that funny so first episode is weak in my th- i i kind of yeah. just feel like i should read the comic and then maybe read the watch the anime after but i just haven't done that i've thought about diving in yeah just because you and know i kind of want to re- read the original art that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> before they like got professional manga cut to redraw the whole thing yeah uh, i kind of want to see both because i think that's interesting yeah 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 but no, Dra- Dragon Ball, like, I don't know, like, equal parts shit I just enjoy in general and also just extremely what I happen to be in the mood for, but, like, sure, just hitting completely. I'm loving it. Yeah. It was a good, good call. Shit. I love fucking Kid Goku, one of the best characters ever. Yeah, dude. He's just, he's just a great protagonist. Yeah. <laughs> There's not another oh, this is maybe that's way to say it. maybe that's like also it. Just there's so many, there's so many like anti heroes and like fucking edgy protagonists or like all this shit. It's just nice to or have some boring protagonists like, or or boring. Yeah, it's nice to just have someone who's like so innocent and pure like there's so many fucking... there's so many shonen protagonists that are trying to be goku but they're like so much more generic yeah i mean that's <laughs> i had a i had a real good time with with demon slayer but thinking about it like that kind of <laughs> i i could kind of see that description applying uh-huh. The reason I like Naruto is because Naruto isn't a shonen protagonist. He's like, you think oh, he's a shonen protagonist? Uh, he's actually a shoujo protagonist. Uh, he's a... Yeah. And the, diff- the, diff- the shonen protagonist wants to get strong. The shoujo protagonist wants to save their friends. I don't even give it. I mean, like, what's the, what's the protagonist who doesn't want to get strong? They don't want to... Save their friends. They just want to get lunch. Uh, that's just good characters. <laughs> I rewatched. <laughs> I rewatched the first episode of Sailor Moon, and there's I just screen caps. So there's just a part she's standing in the hall. It's like I'm hungry. <laughs> it's like does Hank like Sailor Moon? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that is one of my favorite early bits from One Punch Man is when he's, like, fighting this thing and he's kind of just, like, being real lazy about it so he's not really winning. And then all of a sudden he's like, holy fuck, it's the farmer's market today. And he just destroys the thing and bails because he doesn't want to miss getting his, his shit. Yeah. That's not as much about being hungry. That's just, he has but to do his good shopping. Food. Good food, yeah. though. Farmer's market. Nobody it's gives a shit if routine, Walmart man. is having a... It's about the regular day shit. <sighs> Farmer's markets are great. It's not... It's not oh, I'm so hungry. Hungry. What if it was both, though? If it were both, that would be different. But you probably shouldn't do your shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> oh, you can't choices. fucking stop me. Nor do I feel <laughs> uh, uh, great being called out like that. <laughs> me rolling th- through the store earlier like oh shit i could go for his snickers Ooh, some sushi i mean it's not great sushi but like i could take a hit of that yogurt don't mind if i was not 
actually eating. <laughs> yeah, but then I can eat all of it. Can you? I'm the. I was earlier today. I was the hungry protagonist. Nice. Did you spend all your prize money on food? Uh, <laughs> no. I didn't go that hard. I would if I could. <laughs> That used to be me. When I was when I was at like I I noticed it was kind of weird, uh, realizing it, like my appetite had gone down after I uh-huh. stopped being like peak fitness. Mm-hmm. But like, it was fucking wild, like how hungry you are because you're. Mm-hmm. Turns out when you're uh, working harder, you burning. Yeah, you <laughs> need to burning eat more. calories. So it's you like turned your body into a furnace. So you, you know. Fuel. Yeah, and so you watch Goku, and you're like, that man's stomach is undergoing, like, fucking celestial fusion (laughs) inside. That 12-year-old has got a lot going on. (laughs) Dude, when Baba, like, pulls him aside and gives him all all that meat, and he's just demolishing it. Yeah. Uh, Ugh. Every time someone's like... (laughs) You go go up food. I'm like, ooh, ambitious. Ooh. (laughs) You think you can satisfy the hunger? (laughs) I'll Goku double fisting. Fucking meat on bone. (laughs) Man. Anytime I see that shit, it just makes me want to go to like a Renaissance fair. Just get a huge (laughs) damn turkey leg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, also the stuff with Baba wanting to make Goku one of her fighters is only in the anime. That's not in the manga. Oh, interesting. Reason. I mean, it's kind of like a, it's kind of, yeah, it's like a throwaway bit. Yep. For like thirty like, seconds. Yeah, like most stuff that's in the anime that's not in the manga. But yeah, some of it's good, but. The stuff that I like is like the the I like the approach of let's fill out space in between arcs with characters that uh, we've established but wouldn't show up again or whatever. Like, I yeah. just think that's a good impulse for filling that stuff out rather than like you know the 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 way Naruto does it, which is the worst. I don't know how Naruto does it. Um, I... Either either you do. Well, the the one that Shippuden does the most is like, here's like now 13 episodes of non-plot or whatever with this whole other new characters. Like, like it's, let's introduce a shit ton of new characters that don't matter and aren't interesting and all, all the show's going to be about is them for <laughs> the, the, indefinitely. After right. you get like two episodes of covering the plot, <laughs> and it's worse, that was what happened. Or it was here's oh the story's over. Well, we're not ready to do the time skip part of the story, so here's like seventy episodes of filler, Oops. just episodic adventures <laughs> where nothing matters and nothing can happen. That's the very end of Naruto. And Naruto ends at like episode one thirty, and then like goes for like another seventy before Shippuden starts, and the plot picks back up. I did not watch any of that. <laughs> I also did not watch any of that. Honestly, yeah, yeah. it's also could... the fact that all their filler is just bad. They're just like really bad at making stories. Yeah. So. See, because again, that stuff could be fine if it, like they were any good at it. I just want, like, if you're doing filler, just mm-hmm. fucking give me some, like, slice of life shit, you know? Dude. That's the S- Dragon Ball Super's filler. Like, the just the... It's like, there's no manga, so it's like, tech, it's all whatever. But th- when they, they ha- like, take the time to do slice of life episodes, it's my favorite shit in the fucking world. And they didn't, they don't do it enough. But, like... The, those episodes are why I fucking kind of love Super, despite all its flaws. Because <laughs> it's like, here, this episode, Goku's a farmer. 
I mean, hell yeah. That's my shit, dude. And now, you know, let's take it's take your family to a theme park episode and now I mean, everybody's going to play baseball. It's like fucking Everybody plays baseball is the best. I mean, that's plot fucking amazing. You can ever do. Like Steven Universe did it, it is great. The X Men did it, it's great. Dragon Ball did it in Super, it was great. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like at this point we're probably gonna end up doing Super. Yeah. Just not gonna stop. We super, had all these. There, they. Part super rough, I'll say, in terms of pacing. I don't even <laughs> the, mo- the roughest, again, you're like completely, you have to be completely pot committed at that point, where it's like the very end is a tournament, and it's like one minute has passed in this episode. <laughs> I'm like, mean, like one minute of real time has passed in this episode. I've... They do like, <laughs> it's like an entire, they spent an entire like year of show. On a tournament that takes real time forty five minutes, <laughs> I've prepped myself for that. I watched, the... but again, that's the most it's the most end game of end game, I guess. But I watched the Haru Sumo anime. Or Haru he sues me either. You you watched the no. endless episodes? No, no, oh. no. What is it? Hang, hang on, hang on. Let okay. me an actual title here because i oh sorry sorry i forgot multiple syllables the hinomaru sumo anime oh gotcha gotcha gotcha. um close enough (laughs) uh no like doing i'd mentioned they're not terrible with it because like i know it's a thing that like competitive sports anime do but like the fact that it's a sumo match and though that shit takes like you know, 10 seconds or whatever, and they're, like, doing full monologues and everything, the whole nine yards, and mm-hmm. that's, like, every fight. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. meh. Yeah. There's that melancholy of Suzumi Haru. It, has the, is a, it does a story that's, like, these characters yeah, are stuck they, in a time loop, and it, it shows made different, seven like, episodes yeah, that were yeah, essentially yeah. the same, except, like, people wearing different hats. Yeah, yeah. No, I I know <laughs> all about that. That's just very funny. That's just good. That was, uh, one of my friends was real into it, and then that thing, that, like, destroyed his will to bother with it. Sure. I I watched those episodes after I'd finished everything else, so. Hmm. And, like, was prepared. <laughs> like, knew what I was getting into. Yeah, yeah, that would make it. Like, just knowing what you're getting into, it's, like, it's not yeah, that bad. That, but, but, like, yeah, like watching we were watching, it like, time. week to week. <laughs> I'd be so, that would, yeah, so yeah, pissed. Yeah, that, that would be mind-breaking. It's, like, I can't, like, again, there's an anime where, like, Wolf's Rain. But, like, the, the TV airing of that show ended with, like, four recap episodes in a row. And then it just ended, and the the actual end of the show came out on an OVA later. Jesus. Which sounds infuriating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, as you just watch it after the fact, you're like, yeah, skip these and watch the end of the show. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But in the moment, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> um, well... Yeah, so it's a other good next, one. Next next time. Yeah, what are we going to? So we've got the the on the road arc. Yeah. Which is just a filler arc of, you know, Goku's travel in the world stuff. Um which is like four episodes. That's seventy nine through eighty two. And then eighty three we get to the next World Martial Arts Tournament. Hell yeah. And that's basically what we'll watch. So that goes through 101. 101. Is where we'll stop. Okay. Because um, I think, because that's a good chunk of episodes and that's, you know, the end of the tournament. I mean, yeah, it's like 78 to 101. It's like what? 
20 some 20 23 23 episodes yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll it's talk like to you this, tomorrow about it. <laughs> yeah, it's the smallest batch we've done so far, but I think it's that's I think that's the right call. Yeah. No, I think it'll sense. basically will be three it'll be three more episodes of podcasts to get through, including that one to get through uh the Dragon Ball material before Z. Three episodes in 3 days is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I mean, we're like half, we're almost halfway through regular Dragon Ball. Yeah. In terms of episodes? Yeah, we're more, we're more than halfway. Seventy-eight out of one fifty-three. Out of one fifty-three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My brain broke temporarily. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel that. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm literally gonna like continue on tonight. Finally, I'm stoked about it. Nice. Yeah, I. The next, the next arc is really good. All the world martial arts tournaments are fucking bangers. Yeah, man. In my mind. So. So well, you know, in Dragon Ball. <laughs> They kind of outgrow them, but you know how it is. Yeah. Uh, All right. Salt Circle Podcast, gmail.com, Salt Circle Pod on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. You can find our episode hosted at anchor.fm. So Salt Circle. I'm dying. <laughs> <coughs> Something caught in my throat. Uh yeah. Shit's good. All right. Except when it's stuck not. Except when it's bad. <laughs> Which is, you know. Bulma's getting harassed. I Yeah. Yeah. But and... there's a lot of great shit. Yeah. And we're coming up on meeting a character with an unfortunate design. Oh no, Mr. Popo! Oh no, he's just a blackface caricature in his design. Oh Straight boy, up. that's rough. And you know, it's he's he's not human, but that doesn't make it better. It's just that weird. Like, make it better. We've look had at black look characters. At, look at fucking Jinx. Right. No, it's like exactly that, basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, I actually, it's the tail end here. Not a, not the best note to end on, but uh, I was kind of like meaning to ask, and I don't think I mentioned it in our first Dragon Ball episode. Is it like the the way that they draw like black people in the show with like the lips and stuff? Like, is that kosher? Is that like, is that fine? Not really. Or is it bad? Okay. I got the impression that it's like not cool. <laughs> But I didn't, I don't again, really like know, if it were uh, just that, it would be. You're kind of like, you're just a little uncomfortable. Uh, Mr. Popo, it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Mr. Popo happens, you're like, what the fuck? Come on. Yeah. No, because like that alone, and that's like, like, like again, that's like you know, someone from Japan in taking in super racist American media. And just sort of internalizing it or whatever. Or liking that. Yeah, yeah. And that becoming like a default or whatever. Um, But yeah. Yeah. Toriyama likes drawing characters with lips like that sometimes. I mean like a thick pair of lips. Like I understand. On Mm -hmm. anybody. Yeah. But But damn. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, it's it's That's, a thing. I got my the, the got my question mm, asked. Yeah. <laughs> Till next time. Look, black kids, white kids, everybody loves Dragon Ball Z, though. I'll say. Oh it's yeah, just, it's just you know that shit. It's racist, but also people just love this shit. So. I've seen kind of memes just... and videos and fucking tons, like, from literally every conceivable group of person. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 
so it's somehow, you know, you just deal with it. <laughs> you just recognize yeah. it, yeah, recognize yeah. it for what it is and say, yeah, no, it doesn't. I wish this weren't here. I wish this weren't like this, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It's the world we live in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, not the best uh, note to go out on, but... Uh... Some things are bad, some things are good. Yeah. Bye. Bye.